Scorpios. This is going to be a reading for singles who are not connected to anyone, not focused on anyone, but are open and willing to date and fall in love, okay? So this is to see, this reading is to see what your options are in love for the week of November 9th through the 16th, okay? Let's see what's going on with Scorpio singles and their options this week from the 9th through the 16th in love. What's, what's going on? What's coming towards Scorpio? Singles for the 9th through the 16th. Please show me what's coming towards Scorpio. Scorpio singles. Ace of Pentacles. I saw the Six of Pentacles earlier. So I feel like you've got like a Taurus, um, maybe even Pisces. Look at that. Hierophant come right out. I saw the lovers too. Somebody with um hmm. somebody that is really they're they're concrete in their thinking usually. And I say usually because we have the lovers here, which is a decision to be made, head over heart or vice versa. So this person is usually very um very aware and very firm in their decision making and they usually try to use logic over all else but they're having a hard time right now deciding between their heart and their head so that means that you have like really turned somebody's world upside down okay and that is what I feel like. This is probably um, Taurus Gemini energy right here with the lover's card. But somebody is just like head over heel, head over heels for you. I feel like right here. They see success with you. Definitely. Leo energy. They see success with you. And they, this is also a person that is recognized amongst many, okay? And, I mean, it could be a celebrity. Could not. But it, it could also be somebody that people respect. Like, this is somebody that, you know, with the hyphen being here, people look up to. They look to for advice, you know? Somebody in that... Um, energy like they know everything but they don't know really about love like they can hold a, a intelligent conversation and tell you all the information you need to know how to hook up that TV how to you know apply for financial aid if you're going to school but you ask them something about love and they get tongue-tied that's that person that very technical that person but you see here's the two of swords this is somebody that does not know what to do they really don't they're they're like they know they have these feelings but it doesn't make sense to them because it's not technical it's not textbook so they're really having a hard time with this they, they really are this is somebody that I feel like strong Taurus here Taurus Gemini. Taurus Gemini energy here. They they are feeling depleted. They don't know what to do. They really don't. They don't know how to approach you, I feel. I don't know if you left this person or they were in a commitment before. And were left by someone. Let me look at this. Or 
or either they left you. I feel like they left you. They abandoned you. Basically, it's how you felt that you were abandoned. And you have, you still feel some kind of way about this person. This is somebody that you know and have a past with. They left you, and, and quite possibly they left you in a fi financial bind as well, but you didn't see this coming. So you really just feel like, it, it made you feel like what the hell just happened, you know? But now, but now we got five and five, could poss possibly be 10 months ago, 10 years ago when this happened. But, yeah, we also have six and six here as progression. Huh. 10 to 12 months ago, but I'm sorry. Hang on one second. I'm looking at this. Because it now looks like they feel left out in the cold after they initially left you feeling abandoned, feeling neglected, feeling ghosted. Like what happened? And I feel like they're feeling this way, left out in the cold, feeling like desolate and, you know, like they don't know what to do with themselves is because of how they left. They don't know how to fix it. They don't know how to fix it, Scorpio. Strong Taurus, strong Taurus energy, Taurus Gemini energy here, mainly Taurus. And it could be a female, but it doesn't have to be because it seems as though for some of you, this male has a receptive spirit, has a receptive energy where they were so used to you taking care of things, not necessarily financial things, but you know, making sure they were okay. If they were over in the corner pouting, you would always be the one to go and say, hey, what's going on? You know, can I help you? Did, did, did I do something? You know, that kind of energy, looking for you to make things better. And they definitely do see success with you. They don't know how to approach you. They don't know how to approach you. But you're building on yourself. Very intuitive, very intuitive you are. They want to build with you. Yeah, see, because I feel like, here we go. <laughs> and as I say intuitive, you see the high priestess under the deck. Very intuitive here. Um, but you see we have the Queen of Pentacles. And we have the Queen of Cups. Now, for the males that are watching, quite possibly, you have one female that has walked away, and you have one female that you're trying to build with that you want to have something with, but she's got her back turned to you. But then you have another female that is wanting to build with you, who you have your back turned to. Somebody that you left at Nicole, somebody that you neglected, ghosted. And th that's just for some of you, okay? For others of you, the issue is 
for the females out there, for some of you, this Queen of Pentacles is the male energy. And this male energy is in a very receptive state right now, not making any moves. Wants to build with you, dreams of building with you, but still expecting you to turn around and say, hey, what's wrong? What can I do to fix this? Yeah. So those are the options, you guys, for November 9th through the 16th. And um, I will be speaking with you soon.